Hello dears. In this video we are going to see that how to change divider color and divider height of list view in Android graphically and programmatically inside Android Studio 4.0. So basically the final output likewise this way. It is a default color. Then we are going to change the divider color with the our color resources. So let's see with the separator color or divider color whatever you say. So upgrade your studio to Android Studio 4.0. We are going to use view binding to replace the find view ID. So let's start how to change divider color and divider height of list view in Android programmatically step 1 to step 3. Go to new project with empty activity inside Android Studio 4.0 and this side build.gradle file and change add one line view binding enable equals to true after that design your main screen with one list view inside constraint layout and after that we are going to first do this one with the graphically after that we will do it programmatically so let's start go to file new a new project go to empty activity click on next then it's a demo whatever the name you want to give likewise demo underscore lb underscore d click on finish all the stuffs will be ready so go to build.gradle file and inside that just write view binding enabled equals to true after that make sure your internet connection is on click on true so after that we do not have to write any code regarding find view by ids so move forward and uh, after all the capabilities are added for the find view by id just uh, automatically generated class named is an activity main binding whatever the variable name you want to give initialize that variable likewise activity main binding dot inflate get layout inflator after that just one replace line set content view that binding dot get root okay so let's move forward to res inside activity underscore main dot layout over here just I type list view give the id to at the rate plus id then lv underscore birds after that just one I want to give setting padding inside the top of the layout 10 dp and with the off white background to I will change to white background there is no text view is needed all the stuffs I think all these things are ready width will be match parent okay so just I close this activity underscore main dot xml and over here I change and before the code of the main activity dot java one custom layout i want to add with the name of my text view just i click on ok so very easy just you need to change this constant layout to text view whatever the width height is we are going to change rep content after that text size will be 50 sp and text color will be has whatever the color you want to like like currently I want with a d3 2f 2f and textile will be bold after that I want some padding also 10 to 8 dp so my custom list view item is ready so after that you have to know what is array list collection class of Java with the string type and inside that just I type array list underscore birds and array adapter for the list view setting so string array adapter underscore birds so after that just we are going to write one method which is public void load data inside that we will do all those things so just I type load data over here okay after that inside 
public void load data we are initializing all those variables so inside the load data i have array list initialization so array list birds equals to whatever the name you want to type then initialize with array adapter equals to new and press control space main activity dot this or you can write also get application context now we have r dot layout dot my text view okay so my text view and after that just type whatever the array list you have so third are three arguments and after that you can set binding dot whatever the list view you will have then set adapter whatever the adapter we will have currently array adapter birds so all the stuffs are ready just we have call that particular and first we see that what is the final output without doing the customization divider line so press shift f10 let's see so you can say this is the default line we want to set our custom line over here inside the divider this one is the this thing first we are going to see with graphical so go to activity underscore main dot xml line and over here we need to write the code so just i write divider equals to what are the color i want to set i want to set it d3 f2 f2 okay so okay you can set whatever the color you want to set and i want to set d f2 okay d f whatever the color you want to set as d f2 f2 okay so all the stuffs are ready with this one and i also want to set divider height 5 dp okay so just i press shift f10 these two lines we need to set for the custom color so let's see what happens output is ready so you can see this one or as per the commitment or desire output how we can set it graphically or from the layout file so it is from the layout file just I remove this line from this end and I want to if we want to set it programmatically also we can set by this way so let's see change the divider color and divider height how we can set it programmatically so by default it is normal so if we want to set the divider color then we are going to set binding dot whatever the LV birds we have set divider so another thing is we want to set drawable color drawable from our resource file so get resources dot get color then what are the color you have r dot we have that particular color dot color primary okay so i have primary color from that again and binding dot lv birds dot set divider height we can set it by 13 so just press shift f10 let's see with the same output whatever we have set with the graphically that particular output we will get from programmatically also so let's see what will be the effect of these two lines see this one output is ready so the same output we can change the divider height or separator height and separator color or divider color programmatically and graphically both of the way so very easy you can see this one and you can do it on your own so how to change divider color or separator color divider height or separator height of list view inside android graphically and programmatically so easy way implement on your own keep coding keep learning thanks for watching like it subscribe this channel thank you thank you very much